Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, let's do this problem right here. The question is asking on an air filled parallel plate, capacitor has round plates and carries a fixed amount of equal but opposite charges on its plates. All the geometry parameters of the capacitors are now doubled. If the original energy density between the plates was U0, the new energy density is what? So that's the question. So let's see let's look at the initial condition so they have given the energy density as u naught so energy density equation is energy divided by the volume right so that's the energy density equation now we have to write uh, we try to write everything in terms of diameter and plate separation because those are the things that are changing right so we have to see how it's going to change the values so let's uh, uh, let's rearrange the energy equation first we know that energy is equal to half qv and here we are dealing with capacitor and capacitance so we have to put this in terms of capacitance so to do that what i can take uh, what i can do is uh, i just take this q i mean v we know that q is equal to cv so v can be written as q over c now instead of this v i can replace this one by q over c so that's going to give us half q square divided by c and uh, that's it and also this one volume is same as because uh, volume is this volume of the region between the plates of the capacitors that one is treated as the cylinder right so this is going to be the volume, volume of this one is going to be pi r square times the distance right so this is the volume and here instead of capacitance capacitance is the same as epsilon naught a over d so here we have area area is going to be cross sectional area of the cylinder that's going to be circle so that's going to be phi r square epsilon naught phi if i write in terms of di diameter this is going to be phi d square by 4 right so d so if i rewrite this one this is going to be epsilon naught phi d square over 40 so this is for capacitors and this is for volume now we have to plug this in, the, in this equation so here we have half q square over c and c we are replacing the c with this whole value that is epsilon naught phi d square over 40 so epsilon naught phi d square over 40 i can bring the 40 to the top so this is going to become so for we have a half right here that's going to make it 2d so this is going to be 2d q square over epsilon naught phi d square so this is uh, energy right now we have the volume right here so let's write volume in terms of diameter so this phi r square phi r square is same as phi d square over 4 times d right now if i plug it in this equation something is going to cancel so let's see what other things that's going to cancel and uh, simplify that one right so energy equation we derive this one in terms of uh, diameter and separation so that is 2d q square over 2d q square over epsilon naught phi d square right and in the bottom we are going to have phi d square over 4 times d right so let's flip everything that can be flipped and bring it in a simple format so here we know this is uh, this one is going to remain the same 2d q square and uh, this 4 is going to flip around and go to the top right so that's going to be 4 right here and in the tr bottom we are going to have epsilon naught phi d square and again we have an phi d square phi d square and also a small d and if you notice we have a small d on top and the bottom we can cancel both of them and then we are left with this one so this is equal to 8 q square over epsilon naught for we have two phi right here so it's, that's going to give us phi square and d power 4 so this is the final thing we are end up with so this is initial condition when we don't change anything now uh, we can treat this one as a general formula because we derived from using everything right so we can treat this one as a general formula and see what happens if the parameter and plate separation doubled so if the plate separation double it doesn't it, it's not going to change anything because we say we seen that uh, 
plate separation cancel each other so it's not going to affect this one the only diameter change is going to affect this one so what's going to happen is here instead of d so let's say this is uh, d1 so now we are going to have let's say we have u prime constant so in this case we are going to have 8 q square epsilon naught phi square now d is double right d is double so this is going to be 2d power 4 2d power 4 so 2 power 4 is going to be 16 so we are going to have 8 q square over epsilon naught phi square over 16 d power 4 and if you notice this is going to cancel each other and we are going to have 2 right here right so this is the one we are derived now let's see how we can connect make a connection between both of them right so first we have this one so I can also write this one as instead of 8 I can write 16 over 2 because I want to make a connection if I write it like that that's, that will make this easier so 16 over 2 so we have a 2 right here and this whole thing is same as this one right so instead of writing like this we can say u naught is equal to 16 u prime right now we are trying to find the final uh, final energy density that's u prime therefore u prime is equal to u naught over 16 so that's going to be the answer so the answer is uh, the final energy density is u naught over 16 and this the final answer and that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys found this video helpful. See you next time.